Hello everyone, and welcome back to some more Classic Tweak Showcase. Uh, in today's episode, we'll be taking a look at a tweak called Zephyr. So I'm just gonna open up Cydia. Oh, I have it over here. <laughs> Using Infinidoc. That's another tweak. Oh boy, I have plenty of these to show. But anyways, Zephyr, spelled like that, is uh, available on one of the main repos, I think. But the, yeah, right here. It's on Big Boss, but unfortunately, you can't even purchase- It was a paid tweak, and you can't even purchase it if you wanted to, because you have to have a city account, and the city store is offline. So basically, that leaves any paid tweaks from this time in limbo. So you pretty much have to pirate it. It's like the only way you can get the tweak anymore. I got it from Hack Your iPhone repo, right there. Uh, pirate repos have been known to uh, either accidentally or intentionally spread malware, though, before, so... I recommend being careful on what tweaks you install, but something like something like Zephyr, which is a really old tweak, is probably fine. So, but I'd just install the tweak and then remove the repository. Uh, and oh my God, the focus! I'm sorry. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. But here's what it does. So it's basically iPhone 10 gestures, but for old devices running iOS 6. I'm demoing this on a uh, iPhone 5, which I'm using Cool Booter to get iOS 6 on. So this is the 64 gig model. So I've got a decent amount of storage, even in Cool Booter, 16 gigs. But uh, it'll work on the 3GS 2, I believe. So and the iPod Touch 4. So what this does is, like I said, basically iPhone 10 gestures. So you can swipe down from the notification center. Now I've got a different tweak here that's blurring the background. Uh, but you can see it has this new animation on the standard iOS 6 device. It'll pull down over it It sort of just makes it slide away Also, you can just slide up from the bottom to get into your app switcher Just like that something you couldn't normally do on iOS 6 and then if you're in an app You can slide it away to go home just like you would on an iPhone 10 or a 12 or whatever Isn't that cool? now uh, you can also, I believe, if I get a couple of apps open here, like maps, can you swipe between them? You can. So you can swipe, so you can even just swipe between all of your open apps just like you would on an iPhone 10. It just works slightly different. And this was made years before I, the iPhone 10 came out. This was made in a time where iOS 6 was the up-to-date version, and it's just such a well-made tweak. It's fluid, stable, it works great, and there are a bunch of configurable options as well. Now, I'm not sure what all these do, but I'm sure you can play around with them and find out some cool things. So there's different actions you can choose. If you want only it to open up the switcher, no matter what app you are in, you can do that. You can also do the close app as well. And like a three finger pinch, does this? Yep, right. I th believe that's a system gesture though that you could do by default, but it might add a cool. I th oh, yeah, that's definitely not a stock animation. So it adds a cool animation. And it's all just so smooth, at least on the iPhone 5. I, I'd expect it to be a little slower on a 3GS or anything like that. But you can see. It's a really fluid tweak. And again, if you want this blurred background, it's blurred NC background. But, yeah, that's Zephyr. Not much else to show here. These tweak showcase videos are pretty short. But, that's all for now. I have plenty of other classic tweaks to demonstrate. And if you have any suggestions, leave them in the comments down below, and I will check them out. Anyways, I'll see you all next time. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. I'm out.